Woo! <laughs> Hi guys, it's Crestfish and I'm back. As you're aware, Halloween is just around the corner. Definitely one of my most favorite festivals of the year. Really do love it. Love getting involved in it, dressing up, having a party, having a few drinks with your friends, just basically having a giggle, you know, having to put a few scares out there. So, what with that, I thought I'd do a little video for you guys. So, I've been really thinking about what can I do for Halloween? What, what videos can I make? Uh, but with loads of ideas, but this is the one I decided to do. It's my top five most cursed movies. Hope you enjoy. Number one. Okay, so the first one is The Exorcist. Now, if you've not seen The Exorcist, watch it now. What a classic. It came out in 1973, and my word, did it have such an impact, right? This was the first of its kind in the cinema. So when people first saw this, believe me, they were being sick, they were fainting, they walked out. It was, it was a shock to everyone out there. But let me tell you something a bit about The Exorcist that you probably don't know. Behind the scenes, what actually happened during the making of it, it's actually quite scary. During the filming of The Exorcist, part of the set actually burned down. It postponed the filming for six weeks. Still unexplained to this day why. Okay guys, you remember that scene in the film where Reagan's masturbating with the crucifix in bed? Well, she actually put her back out making that scene. She had to lay in bed for weeks, obviously postponed the filming as well for her part. Due to these delays, the filming in Iraq, which was set to be done in spring, was then pushed to the summertime, which is extremely hot. So this caused dehydration and sunstroke for a lot of the cast. Jack McGrowan, who was proposed as the alcoholic uh, director in the film, actually died a week after filming his part. Both of the night watchmans and the special effects expert all died during the making of the film. Things got so bad that the director actually insisted that they call someone in to exercise the set. But as it turned out, when the guy came to do it, he actually just blessed the set instead. Once it was blessed, there was no disturbances after. Records state back that in LA, when the film was being showed, there was on average four blackouts and six people vomiting during the film. And in New York, several people had heart attacks and it's actually been said that one person who was pregnant had a miscarriage. So guys, I think you all would agree that this was definitely not a great film to be part of. Number two, The Omen. Who hasn't seen The Omen? It is another classic film. It's, it's you know, the boy with Damien 666 in the back of his head. Absolutely brilliant. If you've not seen it, definitely watch this one. But here you go. Here's some facts about this film. Animal Handler, who helped film the part with the forensic baboon, actually died a day after by a tiger. Shortly after the film was released, the special effects director was involved in a car accident and his girlfriend was killed. She was decapitated, identical to one of the deaths in the film. And how scary is that? And a sign near the wreckage said Omen 66 kilometers. And you know what the creepiest thing is? It actually happened on Friday the 13th, 1976. Number three. Okay, so film number three is the Superman franchise. The actors that played Superman throughout all the Superman films were played with ill fortune. Christopher Reeves fell off his horse in a freak accident and paralyzed his back. George Reeves, who played the Superman TV series, he was found dead with a gunshot to his head. Mysteriously, no one knows why. Other actors in the film also suffered tragedy, including people like Marlon Brando and heroine Margot Kigger. The only one that's got away with it so far is the recent Superman guy. Now, nothing's happened to him yet, so if you guys know him, maybe you should get in contact and say, hey, you know, just watch out, take care of yourself, don't do anything silly. Number four, The Poltergeist. Now, this is another one of my favorite childhood films. Another fantastic thing about this film, they just remade it this year. And if you've not seen the old version, or you've not seen the new version, Go and watch them now, definitely a watch. Really interesting to see what they did with the second one because normally when they make remakes, they're not that good. But actually, I actually thought it was quite a good film to watch. Anyway, let's move on. So, real life stories behind this film were actually more terrifying than the film itself. Since the first franchise was released in 1982, four members of the cast have actually died. The rumors go they actually used real skeleton bones during one of the parts in the film, which apparently cursed the crew. Heather O'Rourke, who played Carol Ann in the first three movies, died at the age of 12 due to a cardiac arrest just months shortly after the third film was released. The eldest daughter, Diana, died at the age 22 after being strangled by an abusive former boyfriend. Julian Beck, the 60-year-old actor who played Henry, died of cancer in 1985. 
Will Sampson, who starred in Poltergeist 2, performs an exorcism on the set after so much bad luck. He died at the age of 53 a year after the film was released. Whoa, so that is actually quite a lot of deaths during the making of all the Poltergeist films. Okay, so I've done a little research on the new Poltergeist film to see if anything's happened to the cast members from that film, and I can't find anything, so thumbs up, that's a good thing. So maybe it was down to those bones in the original set of films. And number five, The Passion of Christ. Okay, I've not watched this film yet, so this is definitely gonna go on my list of films to watch. During one of the scenes in The Passion of Christ portraying the Sermon on the Mount, the actor was actually struck by lightning. The assistant director was actually struck by lightning twice during the making of the film. Playing the role as Jesus Christ actually took its toll on the actor. Dislocated his shoulder while performing the crucifixion scene. He struggled against hypothermia and also got a lung Infection. He suffered painful skin infections. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed this one. I did a lot of research on this one and I actually came up with quite a few movies that have been cursed during the making. Now call it whether they're cursed, whether it's coincidence, it's still quite scary to think, you know, you know, when yeah, they've been filming these types of films that these things happened. So I guess my advice to you is if you're thinking of, you know, making one of these horror movies, maybe think about it. Think about it. Do I want something bad to happen to me? Anyway guys, hit the like button below, subscribe to my channel and check out all my other videos and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.